Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Peter. I work at Google on the Fuchsia operating system project. And today I'm going to be talking about some of the recent improvements uh, to the CMake build in LVM, uh, which aims to simplify the process of building cross tool chains. Uh, so you may be wondering, what is a cross tool chain? Uh, you're probably all aware of the fact that Clang is a cross compiler, which means the same compiler can target multiple different platforms, both hardware and the operating systems, but that on its own is not sufficient to produce a working executable. What you need beyond uh, the toolchain itself, sorry, beyond the compiler itself, are runtime libraries. Uh, these typically include things like compiler built-ins, uh, C++ library, sometimes runtimes if your platform supports them. Uh, however, producing these cross toolchains in the past has typically been a very cumbersome process, and it often required a lot of ad hoc scripting. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to, how to produce a complete cross tool chain uh, using CMake cache files and the runtime's build. And I'm going to do this completely within LVM tree using these recent improvements. Uh, so what are CMake cache files? These are simply CMake scripts uh, that can be used to populate your CMake cache, same as you would do when you pass CMake variables on a command line. The difference is that since this is a CMake script, you can use the, the full power of CMake language, uh, including constructs such as conditionals uh, and loops and so on. Uh, you can also use uh, the special LVM distribution component variable to select the components you want to include in your toolchain, or maybe omit uh, if you want to reduce the size. So for example, you can decide to drop in things like LD or Clang or include them if you need them. Uh, once your cache file is ready, you can just load it into the CMake, uh, and you can also pass in additional variables, and these variables can even override uh, the variables that were set in the cache file, which may be useful for debugging. So that's how you build your toolchain. But as I said, what you need beyond that uh, are the runtimes. Uh, so you are probably all used to downloading the runtime source trees and putting them into the projects directory in your LVM source tree. When you do that, what happens is that all these runtimes will be compiled using the host compiler uh, for a default target. But that's not sufficient if you want to cross-compile these runtimes. So that's why we recently introduced a new directory called runtimes. The difference is that if you put your runtimes in there, uh, they will be instead compiled using the just-built compiler, the one you're producing, uh, and they will be compiled for the targets that you select. How do you do that? Uh, there are two variables that control this process. Uh, the first one is called LVM built-in targets, and you set this to a list of targets uh, for which you want to produce uh, compile RT built-ins. Uh, you can also use variables in this form that's shown on the slide to pass in additional variables uh, into the build for each individual target. Uh, similarly, there is a variable called LVM runtime targets uh, that is used to specify the runtime targets to be, to be built. Uh, these runtime targets include basically everything that you normally put into the runtimes directory. And same as before, you can also pass in additional variables to customize the build for each target. Uh, once you have uh, all these configured, uh, you can take uh, the build targets for both built-ins and runtimes and include them in the LVM distribution components variable uh, to make sure they are built as part of our toolchain. Uh, you can either include uh, targets for individual targets or just use the built-ins and runtimes uh, targets to build everything. Uh, then you load the CMake cache file into CMake, as I shown before, and you can use the distribution ninja or make target to build the complete toolchain, then run check all, as usual, to run all the tests, and finally run install distribution to take your cross toolchain and install it to the target location. I mean, these are all the, all the commands that you actually need to produce a full working cross tool chain that can target multiple different platforms. Uh, now, what I've shown you are more simplified examples. If you want to see a real world uh, thing, I recommend checking out the Fuchsia CMake and Fuchsia Stage 2 CMake files that can be found in the, in the Clang search tree, uh, which show more complex two stage build. And these are actually the files that we use ourselves to produce a tool chain that we ship to all our developers. If you want to learn more about CMake uh, and, and the CMake build in LVM, I also recommend checking out uh, Chris Binman's talk from last year's LVM dev meeting. Thank you.